Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to our channel. Welcome friends, family, perfect strangers. This is a Dollar Tree haul and it is so small that literally if you blink, you will miss it. That's how small it is. Honestly, there are so many amazing things I have seen. I have seen like the Dollar Twenty Five pillow covers that you, you know, put your own pillow into. Um, I've seen some wonderful baking dishes like the fall ones that are square and round, the porcelain ones. Um, I mean, I have seen some amazing, awesome products out there. They're not at my store. And what is coming out is slim pickings. But I did find some items that I want to share with you. So without further ado, let's get started. Further ado, we're going to start with snug ado. So my daughter finally told me I don't want ankle, I don't want high ones, I don't, I only want the no-show. So they had brought out the holiday snugadoo uh, no-shows in the cute little, I don't know what that's supposed to be, a cat, a koala bear, I think it's a koala bear. I picked her up in the koala bear. If you saw one of my other Dollar Tree hauls, I'll try to remember and put it right here in an iCard. Um, I picked up the one that has like the fox then I picked up this one that's a cheetah, like cheetah print, but it's like a little kitty cat with the bow. She's going to love these because she loves cats. Then I picked up this pair that looks like to me that it's a little teddy bear. With like a little heart in its little ear. Then there's this little hedgehog or porcupine holding a little pink heart. And then the last pair are the unicorn with like stars so I got all of those for her so she'll be excited for those because that's the ones that she meant when she said I want snugadoos when you see them she meant those next up I want to say that I picked these up before and I don't remember if it was a name brand item or if it was something that Greenbrier had came out with and I don't even know if these are Greenbrier let me check before I open my mouth and say something I you know, shouldn't without reading because read, that's how you learn, Karen. Um, this is from a company called Panicle Brands. I don't know. It's, it's too small. It was made in China regardless. So I don't know. But um, these are the fresh and clean drain sticks. So fresh and so clean, clean. Ain't nobody fresh as me. I'm just so dope and so fresh and so clean, clean. I don't know if that's the right words. I haven't heard that song in a while. But this says that you get 24 sticks, perfect for kitchen, bathtub, vanity. Keep out of reach of children. Caution. Store in a cool place. Do not swallow. And it is an eye irritant, it says. 24 sticks. Apply monthly by placing one drain stick into the drain of the tub or sink. Now, if we have 24 sticks and we're supposed to place one down per month, this will last you two years. Here's my question. Do they dissolve or are they going to get into your pipes and end up causing you wreaking havoc in the sense that then toilet paper is going to get stuck, hair is going to get stuck, you're going to have to call the plumber. I didn't think about that before I bought them. And I bought a box of each scent that they have one for my house for two years and then one for my daughter's houses for two years and then a spare, right? Let me share with you the scents. By the way, if anybody has tried these, there's no better time than now to let me know in the comment section down below, yay or nay. Has this messed up your pipes? Has this messed up your septic tank? Has this messed up your city sewer tank? I wanna hear from you all. First one, ocean, fresh, clean, ocean. Fresh Clean, Fresh and Clean is the brand. This is the Ocean Scent. They are blue sticks, if you can see right over here. They're blue. And it says, Kitchen, Bathtub, Vanity. Then I picked up, so Fresh and so Clean, Clean. Lemon Scented. And these are like a fluorescent yellow color, you can see right there. Then I picked up Citrus, which to me, Citrus... I think citrus makes things smell clean, like whether it's orange or lemon. And these are like an orangish kind of color. And then the last one, which is not my favorite at all. I do not like the smell of it, 
it's lavender. So, anybody tried them? Oh, these are all broke. Look, they're all broke. Can you see them in the packaging all broke? Oh, it's taped closed. I don't want to waste time to trying to undo them. So you know what? Mine's broke. Maybe that's a sign because it's lavender and I'm not into lavender anyway. But they are, the sticks are broke inside there as you can see. Somebody was pushing it, that's what, and they broke them. Um, so I'll be exchanging mine for something else. But this is a name brand product at Dollar Tree for five five quarters at the five quarter store. So is it worth a try? I don't know. And now that I see how broken up that one is, that does mean that it dissolves over time. So I think we would be okay with it being in the drains. These next items I actually found in the dollar plus section. So I was thinking that they were going to be more than a dollar, but well, five quarters, a dollar 25. But no, they rang up a dollar 25. It's this, the little metal pails. Is that what they're calling them? No name. They're just calling them buckets. Yeah, they're just calling them buckets. This first one says Bountiful Harvest, and it's got the blue truck, and then on the back you can see the pumpkins. So definitely fall-related. And then there's this one that says Happy Fall with the wheelbarrow, and it's got the pumpkins in it. I had never seen these before, but I will, a little friendly piece of advice on these, be very careful because they are extremely sharp. There's a There's sharp edges to them, and I actually cut myself in the store with one of them. Um, because my finger got hooked up on one. So be very careful with those. Just because we're paying $1.25 doesn't mean we're getting the best quality. Sometimes they crank this stuff out really lickety split fast trying to, you know what I mean? And they cut corners and then people end up cut. Pun intended. Ba -da -ba. Next up, I found three wooden little ornament. I almost poked myself in the eyeball right there with the did you see that did you that would have been a blooper wouldn't it i've been over here crying my ass off um these little oh great i got one that the bow's missing great because i don't ever check anything because i'm a damn doofus um so they're it's these i would assume they're ornaments right but they're in the shape of tags this first one is the snowman and it says let it snow then there is the santa claus that says merry christmas do you see which one and then the last one is the gnome, and it says Season's Greetings. One of these things just doesn't belong here. One of these things just isn't the same. So I got one with the bow missing. So check yours, but those are the three that I found. Santa that says Merry Christmas, the snowman that says Little Snow, and the gnome that says Season's Greetings. So there are those if you're interested. Next up. These were out last year, but I don't know. It seems like to me that these might be different, but then again, they might be exactly the same as last year. Mine are packed up, so I didn't have to have them in front of me as a comparison. It's the little jars that have like the place for you to have by hand. The first one is Baking Spirits Bright, and it's got the little decorative pieces like this. So there's your first one with the green top. Next one is Gnome for the Holidays with the red top. And this is what the little decor looks like on it. Then there is this one that says, May your heart be filled with the joy of the season. It's like a maroon top. And then it's got the poinsettias on it. And then the last one is... A blue top with just the snowflakes and then that's what the decor is on it. It's just the snowflakes. So there are all four together if you want to see them together. They also had like the square pans that match it but I didn't pick up any of it because I know for a fact I still have mine from last year, the year before, the year before, and the year before. So there's that. Next up, 
I was super excited because I had seen on social media like all of the cute new miniature items that were coming out like part of the cobblestone corners winter village set um and my store literally had bare minimum I think they had like the fence they had the faux bricks that you roll out and then they had these trees that I'm going to share with you and these trees and that's it so I found the light up trees, the LED light up trees in green, silver, and gold. But I would say that this is more like a champagne color. I wouldn't, I would not say that that's gold. I would say that's more of a champagne color. And the champagne one, champagne, huh? The champagne one turns on. The silver one, god dang it. The silver one turns on, but the green one, no sirve. No bueno. No bueno, eh? No bueno. Mira. No, tra no trabajo. Doesn't work. So I got a bummer. The green one does not work at all. So don't be like me. Check them before you leave the store. And I will tell you that the lighting on them, it's not, it's not proportioned correctly either. A lot of, a lot of the tree isn't covered in the lights. So I will tell you a little suggestion, a little suggestion from me. Buy yourself bottle brush trees that they sell at Dollar Tree or even at the 99 cent store or where you can find them for a dollar and get your own little fairy lights and put them on yourself so that that way you know that you're filling the tree the way you want versus having one light here and one here and one here and one over there that doesn't even match. So these to me are not worth the dollar 25. They are not. I'm going to repeat, they're not worth the $1.25. I am going to be exchanging mine. Dollar Tree will not let you return an item and get money back or credit back to your credit card, but you are welcome to go in the store with your receipt and exchange it for a different item. Yes, even seasonal. Now, I have heard and I have dealt with it myself there are certain stores that give you the hardest time when you want to do an exchange. If they won't let you do the exchange, go to a different Dollar Tree because they're supposed to allow you to exchange. So don't let them give you the runaround. Don't let them push. They're just being lazy that they don't want to put the items back on the shelves. They hate doing that. It's part of their job that if any returns come in, they are supposed to literally physically grab them at the end of the night and put them back out in the store so somebody else can buy them. And a lot of the employees hate doing it. So they'll do anything to keep you from exchanging items, but it is your God-given right and Dollar Tree's policy. There you go, a little fun fact for you all. Then I picked up these and I picked up two of each because with my vintage retro ceramic deers and now I've ordered a retro Mr. Christmas Christmas tree. I already have the big huge one in white. Um, I should have bought the green one. I didn't. I bought myself a pink one. So when that comes in, I will share with you. And so I am going to do a whole decorative set of my retro deers along with that pink Mr. Christmas huge 20 something inch tree. And I'm going to use these. So it's the green bottle brush trees with the little candies at the bottom. The like champagne colors with the like yellow and white peppermint and then the pink bottle brush trees with the actual original peppermint candies so you get three of the little bottle brush trees in each package and i did get two sets of each of these and my store was fully fully loaded with these like there was tons of these in the store tons these right here there was only a handful. There was only a handful. And again, these I don't recommend paying a dollar and a quarter for. I do not. I'm sorry. Maybe somebody else really loves them a lot, but me personally, I don't. I don't think it's worth the dollar twenty-five at all. And that is it, you all. I told you it was so small. I am so sorry that it is so small. But my store, like I said, doesn't have much of anything. And I told you, if you blink, you literally would miss the haul video because it's so small. But I do like to come on and share with you what I find, when I find it, so that that way you guys can go look and get it before they're gone. And I've said this once, if not a million times already since I've had my channel since 
November 2015 is when I started my channel. Um, if you see something at the Dollar Tree that you want, do not say, oh, I'll get it next time. Oh, I'm in a hurry. I'll get it the next time I come in. I guarantee you when you go back, it won't be there. So when you see something, if it's something that you really, really want and you really, really like, you need to buy it right then and there because it won't be there when you go back. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close this video. Please let me know what your favorite item was, even though it's very few, in the comment section down below. Also, feel free to comment, interact with one another. That's how we get to know each other better. That's how we become better friends. And that's what we're here for, friends and family, not just for what I haul, but for us to get to know each other, for us to become better friends. Also, could you, would you do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up? It lets me and YouTube know you like these kinds of videos. It also helps me immensely here on YouTube to get referred and suggested out for new friends and family to, do, to discover the channel. Also, sharing is caring. If you want to share my videos on any of your social media, that also helps to open us up to new family members to join. If you're not already a family member, but you're watching this video and you like what you see, we would love to have you as part of the family and it is free to become a part of the family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button down below. There is a bell next to that that you can click so that that way you get notified when I upload a new video so you all don't miss out on any of the fun. And for now, goodbye from Texas.